Welcome back to another video everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you guys some more tips, tricks, bugs, glitches, and mesh locations. First up is going to be here at, um, some people call it like Obsidian Mountain. So what you're going to want to do is the basic way that I always glitch under a map basically with the two stone foundations. And you're going to want to come to wherever it will work best. I did it right here. You're going to want a way to knock yourself out as well as a raft because the way we're going to be making this work is we're going to place a raft underneath the map on a body of water. Alright, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to crawl, place that over you. I'm going to turn off the infinite stats so this can work. And what you're basically going to want to do is fall unconscious as you fall into the map. Because I'll show you real quick. If I fall under the map normally, there's... Oh shoot. If I glitch under the map normally, I'll fall under for a little bit, but I'll just pop right back up on top. Now this is sort of an anti-mesh, it's something that the devs implemented so people wouldn't mesh underneath. But, if you fall unconscious right as you knock, or right as you glitch under, it's sort of similar to the lava cave bug where the lava won't damage you. Just pretend that the thing shooting you back up to the surface is the lava. So I'm going to have this on 2 times speed, I'm going to eat this biotoxin, fall under, fall unconscious before I teleport to the top. And as you can see, I haven't TP'd to the top yet. I'm just falling right now. I've fallen into water. And now I am beneath the water surface that there is. And you'll fall quite a ways down, so it's helpful to have flippers, maybe a diving mask, or scuba tank. That way you can swim to the surface quicker. And then what you're going to want to do is come here, you find the surface of the water, and you're able to place a raft here. And now if you're on this raft, it will not teleport you back to the surface. So you can take these off, and then what you can do from here is you can just build your normal raft base. I'm not going to build one. I'm just going to place that foundation so you guys see that it's possible. The next mesh location is here at the underwater cave east of Griffin Mountain. You're going to want to come here. You'll come up that way, run up around here, and come up to this little ledge. And if you use photo mode and go underneath, you can see there's this little strip of area. So what you're going to want to do is use the method that I always use to glitch under anything. Place it right here. Doesn't have to be exactly right here, just kind of wherever it works. Place it, glitch underneath. Then if you fall under, it's not a big deal, you can just hop up here. Alright, once you're up here, you can place your foundations. Alright, so you can place your ceilings out, you can place them two out, and one on the side kind of here. I guess I have this foundation here, so it won't work to place it right there. I'll snap a couple out this way. There's basically just all the room you need in this little area down here. Like up here you can fit a ton of stuff, right down here. Um, you can actually, I'll build a little template base for you guys so you guys can see all that you can fit in this little area. Right, here's kind of what I made. I had a, there's a forge area right here. You got six forges you can fit. Shoot, I might glitch to the top. I jumped. All right, good. So you have your forges over here, generator, fridge, vault. You don't really need a fridge. I just put it there because I could. The fabricator is over here on this side. There's a smithy bed, basically everything you need for a base. And then that generator is powering a turret here, which can shoot at people as they come in. Another turret that will shoot at people as they come in. And then it has a turret here to shoot people as they're running here. And then as you can also see right here, if you jump, it'll pop you right back to the top. There are two turrets that are on the top that are basically just covering these two little areas. You can place more turrets. I didn't because I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time on this. But you can have a turret here so it looks legit, and then you can have another turret over there. As you can see when I shoot with this with a laser on, it makes absolute, absolutely zero sound. The only sound you hear is the sound it makes on the impact. So the way I did this was, first it only works on pistols, I've tried it on every single other gun. You have to take your pistol, put a laser on it, and then turn the laser on go into photo mode, look around, you'll see the laser goes kind of weird, and then once you turn it on, it will be silent. Right now, my friend here is going to try it out. So he's got the laser. I won't know exactly when he goes into photo. But there, you can hear it made no sound except for the sound it made when it hit the ground. 
Christmas. So yeah, it's very powerful, very useful. If you want, it doesn't leave a bullet trail, I don't think. It's basically a suppressor and a laser all in one. Super useful if you're early game. You may as well just pop a laser on it and make it suppressed and a laser. Next one is going to be the Quetzal Ladder Platform Glitch. So normally Quetzals are pretty good for weight. As you can see, they have very high weight. And right now, Electro just spammed tons of materials. He's gonna pick them up real quick, I believe. If he hops onto the ladder, there. All the weight just gone like that. So right now he's got maybe, I don't know how much he's got, but he's got a lot of weight on him. And when he's on the ladder, it narrows it down to absolutely nothing. So you can do this with multiple people. Works great if you put the ladder right here because then you can just hop off and hop right on. All right, now here I'm gonna spam a ton of materials and you guys are gonna see that the Quetzal, you'll be able to see it from my POV. All right, so if you look into here, the Quetzal is overweight now. So now I'm going to hop on top and he's able to move. I'm not able to access the inventory of the Quetzal, but that's fine. This is especially useful if you're coming back from a big raid. So yeah, that's especially useful for if you're coming back from a big raid, you have a lot of loot maybe, trying to carry it all in one trip, definitely would suggest doing that. Next up is gonna be another sort of a common one, but you may not know it, so I'm gonna put it in the video anyways. It involves an Ankylosaur and an Argentibus. I will show you guys how it works with Electro. All right, so here we have an overweight Ankylosaur. We're farming, what do we do? Well, there is a glitch where if you spam, if you sprint with the RG and pick right before you hit them, you will glide a little bit like this, and then you drop them and they will hit the rock. Now what I like to do is I like to, if you have pop-up names on like this, I like to try and pick their name, makes it a lot easier. And then you just drop them on the rock and you can do that. If you do it good, you can get them going really far. If, you're, if you get good at it, you can cover a lot of distance with this. Very useful, it slows you down just a little bit, but you can, like, there, that one pick, I cover all that. Very, very useful. All right, so the next one is another farming one. If you open your inventory right after you hit with the Ankylosaur, it will hit twice. As you can, you probably heard it, it hit both rocks, both the one in front and the one in back. Now normally it would just hit one rock, but if you open the inventory, it will do the attack twice within one animation. So it helps you speed up when you're on a large pocket of metal or rocks, it'll help you speed that process up a little bit. Now I'm back at square one and there's no turning back to what we were and all we had. Ain't nothing I can do about that. I know I let, I know I let you down. I'm back at square one and there's no turning back to what we were and all we had. Ain't nothing I can do about that. I know I let, I know I let you down.
expecting. How was I to know?